Okay, well today we are visiting the Walkersville Goodwill. We were here last week and we basically filled our cart. So I'm hoping we're gonna have good luck again. Again, it's only been a week and this isn't a Goodwill I frequent, so I don't know how quickly they replenish the shelves, but it's definitely worth taking a look. So let's head in and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. All right, well, I'm not really sure why, but it seems like every time I come to this Goodwill, I start out in the clear section. I think maybe because it's the least populated aisle of all. <laughs> this is really adorable. But you can see it's a sticker, and the sticker is kind of cloudy. That is Teleflora, but it has a really nice hummingbird on it. And down here, I like this metal vase. It's probably made in India though. We have $7.50 on that. What do we have on this guy? That is signed on the bottom, so it is an art pottery piece. 2001 is the date. Can't quite make out what it says, but it feels like a pretty decent quality. I like the shape of it. So I think for $7.49, we'll take that because I know I can at least get 20 bucks for it. This is still here. That had a crack on it last week when we were here. I'm assuming it would still have the crack. <laughs> Notice there is some milk glass in the back. This is kind of a hobnail compote. They have $6.49 on it. I just don't see the resale value of milk glass being high enough um, for me to grab that. A little bit more melt. Well, I guess there's quite a few pieces of melt glass. This is just a vase. Usually, it's best if you lot those together whenever you're selling those on eBay. What is this? Oh, that's a motorcycle. It's a glass motorcycle. <laughs> I don't see any markings on it to indicate who made it, but it is kind of cool. Okay. Not seeing much new stuff today, and that's a little concerning because I was like, I was really hyped up. I was like, you know what, we're gonna find all sorts of stuff, but um, it's a lot of the same stuff we saw yesterday. Actually, the matchy match to this I just saw at the Thermont Goodwill. The last time I was here, I somehow missed a ton of really cool stuff in this aisle right here. What is this? Oh, this is Los Cabos, so this is probably souvenir. <laughs> there is a duck back there. That is marked, but I can't quite make that out. Anth Anthony or something? It's $6.49 and the neck is repaired on that. That is an interesting shape. Oh, it looks like it may have said Ikea on the bottom. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't think that we missed much in figurines today. It appears as though they thinned out the dishes since the last time I was here. Last time it was like really stacked, um, but today it's a little bit easier to see what all is here and focus. Um, that one has some nice gold on it. Not sure if I can just lift this guy. Oh, it's a bicentennial plate. I don't think I'm going to bother with that though. This back here looks like it might be interesting, but I'm going to have to shuffle these bowls over. so. Um, for those of you who are sensitive to clinking, <laughs> please know that I do have a very powerful microphone on my camera and it's really not that bad. Let's get a closer look at this. This has like petroglyphs or something. I don't know. I wonder kind of if that's a hobbyist piece. There's no signatures on it except for a giant S, which I think is actually the good bone mark. I'm going to check out those guys down there. That looks like an interesting pattern. A little bit nautical. What's the marking on that? Brushes, hand painted, KIC, made in China. This does have a chip on the edge, and it's not really worth picking up the one without the other. Those are some enamel bowls. $149 for the stack, but look at the edges there. You can see the metal. There's a cottage teapot, village tea shop. That is made in the Philippines. I kind of like the detail of the, the wreath on the door. I thought maybe that would be something good. Oh, look at this. This matches the set I picked up the other day. I must have missed this piece. $3.49. Emil, Emil Henry. 
Uh, the other day I found three mugs at the Goodwill. They were very badly worn, so I didn't pick them up. But I did look them up, and they had the same Emil Henry name on them. Something I'd never seen before. Um, I think a set of three sold for like $75 of the mugs. So considering this is like just a baking dish, $3.49 might be worth picking up. I'm going to stick this in my cart because it's in pretty decent condition. I don't see any chips or cracks on it. Okay, mugs and teacups. <laughs> Let's see what we can find. Here are some uh, Satsuma mugs, or cups, I should say. <laughs> there's no litho paint on the bottom. They're just kind of common, and there's no saucer that goes with them, so they're not necessarily worth picking up. And I don't see much else in the mugs. That looks kind of fun. No thanks, I'm having butter. <laughs> That's kind of, kind of fun. There is a made in Mexico dish down here. At least I think it's made in Mexico. It's not the really bright colors that I normally come across. I actually have one of these at the shop right now that I need to list. Otherwise, I really love the gold and black contrast on that. Hey, while I was uh, filming that, I noticed something over on this shelf that's worth looking at. And it's that clock right there. I've picked one of these up before and I did fairly well with it. It's $5.49. Okay, since I found that Emil Henry dish, I figured it might be a good idea to look through the cookware, which I normally skip over. If I'm, if I'm being honest, I normally skip over it. Uh, recently, I've been searching for a little bit more of the cast iron, but I don't see I don't see anything that looks similar to the Emil Henry that I've seen so far. So I think. Oh, look, there's a copper lid. Two copper lids. I mean, I think they go to um, these ones up here, maybe? No, I don't know. Maybe they're just orphaned lids. I did turn this over, and it is marked. You see there's a design there on the lid, and I'm just going to stick that right into my cart. Then I'm going to show you the marking on the bottom here. Let's see. So it is marked Carol Sevic, and um, I figured, you know what? That's a really nice hand-thrown cooking dish. So I decided to look it up. You can see here are the search results for Carol Civic Pottery. And this is just an eBay search. That was not me. Um, <laughs> these are asking prices. There were none undersold. But you know, if this is what people are asking for it, 250, 34, I don't think that I can really lose at $3 and 45 cents. I do have kind of a weakness for art pottery pieces. Okay, so I actually spotted this from the other side of the shelf and it was laying over and uh, kind of concealed because <laughs> I definitely went down this island and spotted it took looking from the other side this is stone and glass 2002 $7.49 I don't see any chips or cracks on it um, it is an art glass vase and it is quite stunning <laughs> I love that red I think really $7.49 this would be worthy of picking up and I'm glad I decided to look through. <laughs> I always have a tendency to spot stuff when I do that. I'm not seeing much else though. So this is a really neat cookie jar. I think they're, oh no that's not a chip, that's just the tape. I'm going to turn this over and actually see what it says on the bottom. Okay, well I turn this over to see if there's any markings. There are no markings, but the bottom indicates that it actually has some age to it. It kind of looks like a castle, um, a castle cookie jar. And usually I sell from my uh, my canisters for like 25 plus, so I figure I could get at least 25 for it. And then after doing a little research, maybe it's worth a bit more. Um, but yeah, I checked under the lid. There's no chips or cracks. And I think I'm going to take it for $7.49. Well, when I was putting this cookie jar into the cart, I noticed that this actually has quite a big crack that goes right down the side of the handle. Something I didn't notice. I'm, I'm glad I didn't leave when I say I was going to leave um, because I wouldn't have noticed that crack. So I think this is actually going to end up back on the shelf. Here is a Bradley doll it looks like. She is not, the, oh she is, the, I was going to say, is she the musical version? They have four forty nine in her. They really don't have the best resale value so even though I think they're cool I don't normally pick them up. Sometimes if I think they're exceptional, I will. Here I am looking in the dolls. You know I'm like desperate when I'm searching through the dolls. I missed that in the back. Let's get a closer look at that. Is that made of chocolate? No, it's just ceramic. It's Norcrest. 
covered wagon, $4.49. This reminds me of that um, <laughs> Oregon Trail. <laughs> All right, yeah, we'll grab it. Now I'm really done. I'm getting out of here. Okay, well, their total spend there was $41. And I think we're going to have no problem making some money. I really love that art glass vase. I did take a minute to try to look it up and it's kind of a weird search term because it's stone and glass studio or something like that. And um, it's, it's throwing up mixed results because it's bringing up everything stone and glass and it's not realizing that's the name of the studio. So we'll, we'll see about that. Uh, but I think that piece should do pretty well. Anyway, I am here now at the Frederick Goodwill, the really noisy Goodwill. Every time I've filmed here in the past few weeks, I've gotten a copyright strike. So the video has been late posting for you guys. I'm hoping today we're going to avoid any copyright strikes. I'm going to talk fast. <laughs> I'm gonna talk loud and uh, we're gonna do our best to not have to do a voiceover because those videos take hours longer to edit. So anyway, let's head in, see what we can find. Here we go. Well, I'm not starting with the figurines today because it is extremely crowded and I'm just trying to avoid people. <laughs> Typical. Uh, this is King's Crown and I'm looking at the prices. It's $2.49 each on that. I haven't sold this in such a long time that I'm not really sure what the value is. It might not even be King's Crown. Am I crazy? I'm second guessing myself now. Um, the goblets are $4.49 a piece. Unfortunately, at that price, I'm just not that confident with it. And if you remember, I have a really hard time getting a cell phone signal to even look things up when I'm at this Goodwill. Uh, these are interesting. They look like they might be EAPG, but they're not. They're marked France on the bottom. It's definitely an interesting, uh, interesting design. Ooh, what are these? Baltimore Colts. What is this? No, negative. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, I do like this glass. Is this uh, also Acorac? Oh no, this is a culvert. This is a culvert glass. There is a single culvert cup. I don't see any others. I did stick this in my cart. I'm gonna wait and see if I can find any others. It's our Viking um, honeycomb salt and pepper shakers. I actually have a bunch of these listed right now for $18 a piece. And um, I think I paid more for them than these. So they'll be like three bucks and um, they're ruby red. Those are interesting. And I'm trying to think if those are um, Italia glass. I don't see any markings on them. $2.49 a piece. They have that bark texture. Um, there are like a few little flea bites around the edge. I think they have matching cups listed at this moment. $2.50 a piece. I will grab those. Okay, these are interesting. What are those? Kind of an interesting uh, finish on them, but I don't see any markings. They have a satin glass finish. You guys know I like looking through the aisles because from the other side I probably would not have spotted these guys. And they look to be actually vintage. How much are they? $2.49 a piece. You can tell by the aluminum lids that they probably have a little bit of age to them because they're pretty beat up. But that's usually the case and I, I believe you can buy replacement lids for them. Um, there's a pepper and a salt. They're milk glass. They're not jadeite. If they were jadeite, they'd probably be worth more money, but um, <laughs> I'm gonna grab those. Well, I've circled back around to the figurines now that it's thinned out a little bit. Uh, there is a open sugar for 99 cents. Oh, this is a cool lizard. <laughs> I think he's probably more modern, but he is pretty cool. Six dollars and fifty cents for him. There is, I think this is a ginger jar sap sumo, it says on the bottom. Well, you know what? It might just be a vase because it is flared on the edge. Gosh, this is so cool. Two dollars and forty-nine cents. What? Look at him go. Heck yeah, I'll take that. That is the coolest. All right, there we go. All mice in the back are absolutely adorable. <laughs> what are they? 
They are Artmark original, three forty nine. So it's a bank. There is some chipping on the ear. It's um, not really to the ceramic necessarily. It's more to the paint. And there is some sticker residue on that. But for three dollars and forty nine cents, you can ride with the duck. So these guys are $9.49 each. That would make them about $20. I would expect to get like $36-ish, maybe a little bit more. Um, so I think I'm gonna pass on those today. These are also probably more contemporary, but they are absolutely adorable. I'm going to peel the sticker back a little and see if there's any markings, but I don't see anything. Um, $2.50 each. Those could be good for Easter. And then we have this prospector. He's marked on the back of his leg, Vincent. Maybe his name is Vincent. He's made of resin. He's made to look like he's made of wood. I would probably be more inclined if he was actually made from wood and not resin. This is really neat. This is $6.49. Ashton likes these sorts of things. And uh, I might pick that up and offer it to him. And if he's not interested, I'll throw it up on eBay. That's a neat piece to have on his desk. Are those actually, no, I, they can't be. <laughs> $1.49 each. They're made to look like Hummel figurines. I don't think that they are. These are all resin. No, wait, those are ceramic. They're kind of sloppy ceramic. I think they are um, Hummel knockoffs. This one is plastic. I don't know. I'm not really sure what to make of those. There are interesting dishes in the back. Um, the color is actually on the reverse. What are those? Zodaks made in Thailand. I think they're probably ashtrays because they have that little divot there. What do we have down here? I like the frosting on that. There are no markings on the bottom. A nice satin glass finish. It's very soft. This handkerchief style vase is nice for $3.49. I think I'm attracted to that bright yellow. I don't see any markings on the bottom. Obviously, this little foot is applied. It's actually kind of a different color yellow than the rest of it. But that's a really fun, bright color. Kind of matches the table I have on my sun porch. Well, the Christmas section appears to have been tidied up a little bit. You can actually see what is on the shelves. I think I looked at these last week. $1.49 kids collection. I thought these were really cool. It looks like um, a child colored this or whatever, and they had them put on plates. Um, this is Amanda Woolard, grade four. I thought that would be really neat to do with Ashton and Juliet if you know that company is still in business. Oh, for a second I thought that was a glass vase down there, but I'm realizing it's just got a silver finish on it. It's not actually glass. There's some crackle glass, but that's not anything good. Oh boy. What is this? That looks interesting. There's actually a pair of them, but they both have damage on them. A little bit of art pottery. Those have a nice glaze. L5. Is that? No, it's not. At first I thought maybe this was a theorem, but it is not a theorem. It's just a painting on cloth. This one over here is definitely interesting. Look at that. Definitely kind of cute. I really like this frame. Let's get a closer look at that. It does appear to be missing some of its little stones though. Okay, so I was just kind of reviewing everything in my cart. I did try looking these up uh, when I was able to get a signal, and I'm just not feeling 100% confident on those, so rather than, you know, grab them and have to list them if I've made a mistake, I think I'm gonna leave them behind, and hopefully I don't regret it. I'm pretty good about the rest of it, though, so the rest of it stays. That is a gaudy-looking lamp. It's so gaudy, I kind of like it. <laughs> it's $6.49, and I think I'm gonna sneak it out of here. Well, on that note, I feel like we're going to get out of here. I did notice when I picked up this lamp that it does stay made in Holland, which I found to be interesting. This is plastic, so it's not like the greatest quality lamp, but it does have a nice look to it. And at only $6.49, I kind of figure, why not? I know I can sell it for at least 
45 bucks, maybe more. I'll have to do a little bit more research on it. I should be careful, he's crushing the duck's head. <laughs> I know my card gives you all anxiety. Um, I did consider putting this bag, this Culver Moon, and I think I still might. It's $2.50. I put it in my cart hoping that I would find more of them, but they just didn't turn up, so. Uh, $2.49, I don't think it's worth grabbing a single, but everything else, we're gonna roll up to the checkout and see what the damage is. Well, our total spend here at the Frederick Goodwill was $54. And um, even though I put a few things back, I'm feeling pretty good about everything that we got. I really love that little wooden duck. That is so much fun. And I have no idea where it's made, but I'll have to do a little research on that because there are no markings or signatures. So I'm gonna get out of here now, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see all of you tomorrow. So long. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.